everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you how to do at home gel manicure with Madame Glam new gel polish. So this is easy three step system. You get soak off base gel. This is your base coat. Then your soak off color and your soak off top gel, top coat. Uh, so as well as this, you will need to have a 36 watt UV lamp yeah, or 18G LED lamp. I have the 18G uh, gelish lamp. Um, I prefer that because it cures much quicker. UV lamp takes two minutes per each coat, whereas LED lamp takes just 30 seconds. Of course, you can only use LED lamp with gels that are compatible with LED lamps because shellac isn't. Shellac can only be cured in UV lamp. You will also need some other things, but I will talk through them as I show you. Let me just quickly tell you, as you know, I know a lot about soak off gels. Um, I do it all the time and I have my favorites. This is very new to me, Madame Glam. You remember I did the nail polishes, which are fantastic as well. And they've just come up with those gels. I am really impressed. I love the bottles. Um, and I know <laughs> it might seem strange, but it is very important with gel application that the tops of the bottle are, are comfortable, the brushes are nice. And I also love, love the fact that you have the actual color of the gel in the top of the bottle. This is so brilliant. I haven't seen it with any other gel, to be honest. Jellish has a little window here where it shows you the color of the gel, but you cannot always tell exactly what it is. Um, Kucho has a little heart with the color, which, you know, if you have it in a drawer, you can't really see the color straight away. With that, I don't know why more companies don't do this. So I love that. The only thing I wish they had was the name of the gel on the bottle. There is no name anywhere, but on the website, each color has a name, so I don't know why that is. It's got some sort of number here, which I don't know if it corresponds to the name because I didn't notice any numbers on the website. So I just chose the fire brick red and that's how I know that what it is. But if I had loads of them and then wanted to reorder, reorder one that I really like, I wouldn't know what what it was called because I wouldn't remember. So I I hope they start putting um, the actual names of the gel on the bottle. So it is beautifully formulated. The colors got amazing coverage. I cannot get over it. It's very creamy and it has amazing coverage. I don't get that with any gel that I've tried before. Yes, there are colors in Jellish, in, in Shellac, in Kucho, in IBD. Some colors have fantastic coverage, but most colors, or a lot of them, need three coats. You will see, I've done two coats just because I'm used to it. It just doesn't seem right not to do two coats, but I could leave it just with one coat. That's how amazing, even, and creamy the coverage is. The color saturation is fantastic. So I am really, really impressed. So if you want to see how to do it, I've always said I'd much rather you went to professional, but I know a lot of you out there still insist on doing it at home. So I've made this decision to show you how to do it and give you as much information as possible so you don't ruin your nails at home. I've also shown you the soak off process, which is again really easy. I find gelish quite hard to soak off. This was really easy, 10-15 minutes and it came off like a dream. Um, also, if you are interested in buying this gel system, there will be information in my description box. I will give you a code and you can get 
uh, for my viewers they've given a 30% discount which I think is fantastic. 30% um, is a lot. So if any of you are interested to buy that or nail varnishes, click on that link and enter the code that gives you 30% off. Okay, now have a look how I did it. Okay, so as you can see, I already have done one hand. Now, to ensure longevity of your gel polish, you need to prepare your nail plate the right way. Otherwise, it will not last. So first of all, you have to get rid of cuticle. And a lot of you probably don't know what the real cuticle is. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so most people think the cuticle is the little layer of the skin around the nail. That in actual fact is a ponychium and that protects your nail from infections and other things. The true cuticle is the layer of dead transparent skin that you probably can't see that attaches itself to the nail plate as the nail is growing because it sloughs off the skin from under side of the eponychium. So if you haven't had a manicure for a long time, you would be able to see that skin. I don't know if, I mean, I've done all my other nails. I've just left that one to show you. Um, because I obviously do my gel every two weeks, um, I constantly push my cuticles back then I probably won't have much skin left. I usually obviously use um, metal cuticle pusher but if you're not professional I would rather you did it with something like the wooden orange stick. You can do it dry so you push it like this I don't know if you can see the little white bits. That's the cuticle that's grown over my nail plate. But if it is tougher, you can use something like cuticle remover. And I use the CND cuticle away. What you do, you squeeze a tiny drop onto your nail, then spread it around the edges wait for about a minute and then start pushing back very gently so all you do you're not really pushing eponychium the skin around your thing you try to push the skin that has attached itself to your nail i don't know if you can see a tiny bit here i hope that is showing up because this is very, very sticky and in fact, even nail polish one last as well if you have a lot of that thin layer of skin. Can you see it? I know this is a bit gross, um, but yeah, that's basically the dead skin. But I would rather that you did it with the wooden orange wood stick because you're less likely to cause yourself injury and after you've done that to all your nails you need to go and wash it off with soap and water because you don't want any residue of that on your nails okay so I've washed it now now what you have to do is take off the shine slightly of your nail otherwise the gel won't un adhere well it will but it probably won't last as long for better adhesion you need to take the shine off your nail you don't need to do that with shellac but with any other gel nails you do so take something i just have this block no more than 200 grid not less sorry uh, it just has to be very fine and gently just take off the shine so we're not taking off you know drilling or taking off loads of layers of your nail 
is just slightly buffing off the nail so it doesn't have any shine. I am being very, very gentle. Sorry, that looks probably very awkward, but I'm doing it obviously on myself. So, can you see how I'm just buffing off the shine? After this, you have to dehydrate your nail and get rid of any contaminants. You have to remember that gel does not like shine, gel does not like oil. So you have to completely dehydrate your nail and get rid of any contaminants, any dust and any oil. You can use isopropyl alcohol. I, again, I'm going to use C&D Scrub Fresh. And C&D is the company that makes shellac and vinyl looks. You need to take lint-free wipe because you don't want any hair on your nails either. And just very well scrub the nail plate. After you've done that, you mustn't touch your nail plate with your other hand or anything else because you don't want to transfer any oils. And now your nails are ready for gel application. So the Madame Glam is just three steps. It's a base coat, color and top coat. So I am going to start with a base gel. And you're going to apply a very, very thin amount because the the brush is quite wide well normal size but you have to be very careful also to um, assure that you get good adhesion and that the gel is not going to peel off that you don't touch cuticles so it's not like with nail varnish it doesn't matter but with gel you must not touch the cuticles so leave tiny um, gap and then seal the edge and do that to all your nails if you see they've got too much gel just wipe it off because it has to be very very thin layer and if you're worried to touch your cuticle just put your brush sort of not lying down but almost standing up start here and push slowly back that way you get a bit more control and this um, technique is very good to use as well for nail varnish so you don't go over your cuticle after i've done that i am going to put my hand in my 18g led lamp for 30 seconds And now I'm going to take my color, which is the Madame Glam gel polish. And this one is in fire brick red, beautiful red. It's got fantastic coverage. You could really do with one coat. I still like doing two coats, but just one coat of it is enough. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to wipe off the excess it's best to do two very thin coats than one too thick and again um, this is still too much start a bit lower then push it towards the cuticle and drag down and seal the edges again start about here then push back and drag down and then do the sides. This is much more difficult doing on yourself than someone else. But practice makes perfect. Again, start about here, push it back and drag down. And as you can see, I'm not going anywhere onto my skin because if I do that my gel will lift as you can see the one coat is is probably enough actually it's amazing coverage I am so impressed um, 
with jellies that I use the most and, and other gels you usually need to do to coat otherwise the colour is very see-through. This I could really, I just cannot get used to not doing two coats but to be honest as you can see you could leave one coat. Be sure not to touch your nails with anything because they have a tacky residue. So I've done the first coat and I'm going to put it in my LED light for 30 seconds again. Okay, now I'm going to do the second coat, but like I said, I probably don't need to. But it is very hard not to do it when you've been used to doing it for years. The great thing with gels is that you can be very slow and play with it for as long as you like because gel is not drying like nail polish. Nail polish, as soon as you put it on your nail because it's full of solvent, which starts evaporating, starts drying. And if you try to go over it again and again, it starts dragging. You don't get that with gel. I can sit here for another 15 minutes and keep putting more and more, and not that you need to, but what I'm saying, it won't drag, nothing will happen. Okay, so this is my second coat. I'm gonna put it again into my LED light for 30 seconds. My LED lamp is from Harmony Gelish and it is 18G. And 18G means that I can do whole hand at one time. Uh, there are smaller LED lamps but you have to do just four fingers and then thumbs separately. So that's why I prefer that one so I can do whole hand at once. And now what is left is to apply the top coat. Again, thin layers, no touching, not touching cuticle. Every time you see you've got too much wipe off and cut the edge. Make sure you cover all the gel. If you've got very short nails, some people um, ask, how do I cut the edge? If you've got very short nail, go like this. Pull this skin away from your nail. Take your top coat and go like this, backwards first, and then paint your nail as normal. And that way you ensure that you've cut your edge. So that's top coat done and for the last time I'm going to put my hand in my light for 30 seconds. So this is done now but there is one more step. You can't leave it like this although this is all cured you still have at the top can you see sticky layer so if i touch that you can sort of feel it being wet um, you have to wipe that off otherwise it will be sticky like that forever so again you need isopropyl alcohol um, usually they are called something like a finishing gel gel wipe a cnd do one jellish do one it's basically isopropyl alcohol, 99% I think. So soak your wipe in that and then wipe off the sticky inhibition layer. And now you are done. And it's all dry, ready to go. You can go on about your day and not worry. Last thing you need to do, because we have dehydrated our nail and cuticle by using all this alcohol, you need to re-nourish them with a cuticle oil. And I'm going to use CND Solar Oil, which is my favorite. So just drop a little drop around your cuticle and massage it in. And just leave it there to soak in. As I've said before, you should be doing this anyway at least twice a day.
And that is your finish gel manicure using Madame Glam gel polish. Now for purpose of this video, I am going to remove one of them. I know it seems a waste, but just to show you how that removes as well. So what you have to do, say it's been two weeks, you've got a nice big regrowth um, and you are ready to change the color. You need to take, first of all, a nail file, uh, something like 180 grit and you have to get rid of the top coat. So slightly you need to get rid of the top layer. It is, you're not doing it very hard. It's almost like, again, taking the shine of it. This is just to let the acetone to penetrate the gel. Again, you don't need to do this with shellac as shellac is a hybrid, as I said, and it's porous, so acetone's got no problem with penetrating shellac. Anyway, so that's all you need to do. You don't want to go, you know, at so hard that, you're, that you get to your natural nail. You mustn't do that. Then you need one of these little cotton wool, a bit of acetone on that cotton wool, put it round your nail and tightly wrap it around and leave it there for 15 minutes. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes now and let's see, so squeeze your um, nail and pull and as you can see the gel started breaking up and you should be just easy like that to be scraped off with orange wood stick and if you're going to apply different gel then you just prepare your nail like I've done it before with the cuticles dehydrating your nail taking off the shine and you're ready to apply another color if you don't want to apply another gel just nicely clean up the nail and nourish it with cuticle oil and you're done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much for watching and I see you soon bye